What do I eat in 24 hours? Well, seeing as we're in Boston, I'm not quite sure. But let's go find out, come on. The first spot we were recommended a lot is Kelly's. Looks like it's a roast beef spot, I'm not sure. Let's get in line and get something. Okay, let's just get two of the roast beef sandwiches. Yeah. Comes with cheese on it, is that fine? Dude, good. I'm such a big fan. Oh, thank you, bro. I've been that. watching you for like years hell now. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Appreciate that, man. What's going on? Yeah, I've seen you and I was good. How you guys doing? Crazy. Thank this you, man. I appreciate that. Oh. And this is the original Kelly's. Oh, this is? Yeah, this is the original. Oh, okay. We chose the right one to come to. <laughs> All right. Because yeah. they, they, they built this one in like 1951, and then I started spreading around, and they've got like four or five now. Oh yeah. Okay, so we chose the right one, guys. The Kelly's famous roast beef sandwich. Looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah, it kind of just reminds me of like an Arby's. But then again, I haven't had Arby's since I was 12. I will say it's like they look really juicy and they pink. do. It looks, it looks better than an Arby's sandwich. I should call her. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> so let's get going on this because honestly, I haven't had a roast beef sandwich since I was 12. So I'm really excited to actually get my teeth sunk into one. So here we go. Oh wow. Oh man. The meat is so juicy. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Is that like a barbecue sauce? Yeah, I think so. This is insane. This is actually pretty good and, it, and it's fairly cheap too. So it's like, this is like a quick, fast type roast beef sandwich that you can grab. You think Arby's tastes this good? I don't know. I don't remember that place even what it tasted like, but now I kind of like roast mm. beef sandwiches. From my memory of every roast beef I've had, it's been very dry. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you also gotta look at like, it's so fatty. Mm-hmm. It's very fat. <clears throat> fat is good, you know? We love fat. Our first thing of the day, I'm, I'm honestly, I can't complain about it. This is Mike's. And this is their direct competition, right across the street. But we're gonna go to Mike's. I ain't never even had a cannoli before. Yeah. I don't even know what it is. Nobody wears masks here in Massachusetts. No mask, Massachusetts. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> One Oreo cannoli and one yellow cream cannoli. Yeah, that's it. Yes, please. I thought we were getting oh, a balloon. Yeah. I thought so too. <laughs> Let's check out our cannolis and see what they look like. Oh, wow. Check that out. Those look actually pretty good. A lot bigger than I would have first imagined off of the photo. Now I know why they call me cannoli. Who calls you that? Nobody. Okay? Oh wow, check that out. This is the Oreo cannoli right here. Man, does that look good. Should have asked for some napkins or something, but here we go. First taste of a cannoli. Mmm, kind of tastes like a donut, but more sweet. It kind of reminds me when I first been into it of ice cream because it's cold, but it's just like straight like cream. It's not ice cream flavored at all. I do get the, the, the real taste of the chocolate that's all around it, and I actually really enjoy that. I'm a little worried for Jake because he just got a yellow cream. I don't know what he's gonna say about that flavor. It honestly kind of reminds me of the inside of an Oreo. All, but all, all of it, you know? That's actually really freaking good, man. I wasn't planning on eating the whole thing, but now I might. Oh, yes. From the texture, I thought it was gonna be like a croissant, like uh, like those crescent rolls that you yeah. bake with hot dogs, but it's harder. Yeah, it's got a crunch to it. It's like a waffle. Almost. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at all that cream in there, man. I have no idea what this yellow cream is. <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes like, a, like vanilla pudding. Like the pudding that you buy in the little plastic things when you're a kid. Yeah. It is like subtly, subtly sweet, not overly sweet. Like you could finish this whole thing and be okay with your life and not feel really bad about it. The actual like hard part of it is really hard. It has a good little cr crunch to it. I was just expecting it to like break apart like a waffle cone on an ice cream. The old oyster house where we can get some fresh delicious chowder as the Boston people say. So let's get on in there and try some chowder. Come on. Yeah, they really put the American boys in the corner. Hey man, they don't really f with us here, I could tell. Every time we go somewhere, they're definitely like looking at us strangely or pointing at us. It's kind of weird. It's either we're super handsome or we don't look like we're from here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 
She's definitely in a silly, goofy mood. <laughs> so here it is, the famous chowder of Boston. Um, I'm gonna put some of these crackers in there because that's what you're supposed to do. Look at that. Let's see, oof, look at that, y'all. Mmm. So I'm comparing it to when Jake and I went to Pike's Place where they had the award-winning chowder. And honestly, this is pretty good. I think they got some competition over there. I know that was New England chowder, but we're pretty close to New England over here, so I think they got that same New England chowder. I like yeah. it. On to the next place, you know? We gotta keep going, keep eating, because that's all we do. Eat, 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 no matter what. Eating's on my mind, I can never get enough. <laughs> okay, so we found a hot pepper store. Now let's go ask random people if they'll try the hottest popcorn in the world. Come on. All right, so we got some lovely contestants to join us <laughs> on trying the corn ferno. This is no joke. What do you guys you step, step into the camera, please? What do you Hello. do? You guys like hot stuff? Yeah, I love hot stuff. Oh, okay, so this will work. We don't really know how hot this is. I'm yeah, nervous. Hot, I'm not really right? good with hot stuff. It doesn't smell hot. hot. Yeah, it smells, yeah, it smells just regular. Like it would be. It would have right. like a different scent. Or right. Like it would burn our nostrils. So here we go. Hottest Cheers. popcorn in the world. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, it's a little spicy. It's definitely gonna hit. Oh fuck! Yeah. It's starting to hit already. When, when it's mixed swallow. with the caramel. Once you swallow, yeah. it hits the throat a little bit. Hits the throat. Oh, like, it's starting to get hot. If I did a handful, <laughs> like it just starts heating up your mouth. <laughs> when you first put it in there, it's kind of sweet with the caramel. It's just like then... a little bit of burning. <laughs> you better get the water out. Off a handle. Yeah. Oh, he went for it already. Oh, he's all he didn't even wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wants more. You can't eat it, man. You can't eat food at home. He's handling it. Send it. Oh my Four? god. More, you crazy. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Oh. He's thinking about it. Yeah, it's good. It's kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 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 it's hot, huh? <laughs> Yeah, right? No, no, sorry, but you recorded it. And you only had one. <laughs> one. This little, like, five year old up there had, like, seven of them. Crazy. She probably blowing a freaking fire on them. God damn, I gotta go get my drink. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right, so we got two new contestants. What are your guys' names? Molly. Molly. Savannah. And what? Savannah. Savannah, okay. Best of luck to you guys. We've already tried it. Is it hot? It's a little hot, I will tell you that. I mean, it is the hottest popcorn in the world, so. I mean, I am sweating a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... But it's cool, you're handling it? Yeah. How about you? Not bad. Yeah, yeah. Damn. The girls with the tattoos and stuff, they can handle it pain. They like pain. Are you going to put your taste buds to the test with the hottest popcorn in the world? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, no worries. Take it. You also oh, try it. Oh, you, you have to try it, it now. Okay. <laughs> there you go. It's the hottest. That's what it says. All right. Here we go. I'm afraid. Holy cow. <laughs> Slightly hot. Yeah. yeah. She did it with no water. <laughs> no water. Definitely the hottest popcorn I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, guys. God. This is the Boston Cream Pie, which was made famous actually in the hotel that we are staying right now, which is also a haunted hotel, believe it or not. So I figured it was only right to get this pie here at the Omni Parker House Hotel. So I think it's time we jump in there. It looks like those are like pecans. I think Some they're coconut. Are coconut? No, Smell those aren't. It. Those are definitely not coconut. And uh, it looks like some kind of chocolate God, it almost looks like a fudge in the middle. I'm not exactly sure. It, it shakes, so I know it's not a cake. I get it. And it was a mission to get this damn thing too. So let's hope it tastes good. Underneath, it's like a yellow cream, almost like that thing we ate earlier. Cannoli. Like a, almost like the cannoli cream on the inside and the top is chocolate, so let's do this. Cheers to our first Boston pie, cream pie. That's actually pretty nice. There is a cake layer. Uh-huh. The cake muffin type layer. Then there's the cream in the middle. Then there's another cake layer. And then it's like this chocolate fudge on the top. 
it's honestly not all that sweet. It does remind me a lot of the cannoli. It's just very creamy, very thick. Like Jake said earlier, it's like a pudding type texture. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a sponge cake. It was interesting to try, to say the least, something to eat here in Boston. I don't know if I'd ever order one again, but I'm not a big sweets guy. I don't really like cake. I don't really like pie. I don't really like any of that kind of stuff, so. I'm smashing because I'm hungry. Smash it. He doesn't feed me on these trips. What do you mean? We eat all damn day. <laughs> what we got here is a beef brisket with au jus sauce. I love these things, they go hard. Let's try it. A little bit smaller than I would like, but you know what? If it's packing with flavor, I can enjoy it. S soak it. You can't just dunk it. You know, you can't just dunk it, you need to soak it. You need the bread to absorb it so it becomes soggy. Oh. Perfect amount of fat fattiness on the beef where it's still got bumping with flavor, man. This is good. I just wish it was bigger. All right, guys, you know how we're at the Omni Parker Hotel, right? I just opened my phone and it's doing this. Okay, that is a little bit strange. Wait, let me check my other Instagram. Wait, 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 wait. wait a second. Let me try mine. Oh, it stopped on this Instagram. Mine doesn't do it. Go back to the other one. <gasps> Your page isn't loading now, you got hacked. Fuck, you might have just got hacked. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> how, would I, how would a hacker do that though? Oh yeah, it's gone. He just got hacked live in front of us, guys. Damn. So it's starting to pour down here in Boston, but that is what I eat in 24 hours while here in Boston. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. You can't get this shirt no more because it's completely sold out, but we have other merch on sale at Until next time, I gotta get out of the rain. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.